Hey there. Uh, my name's Carla. I cohabitate with the Honeybee Camper. She's in 1987, and it's all about the 80s, baby. And now, come on, we're gonna go inside. Hi, folks. Here we are. Here we are at the Honeybee. Sometimes when you don't want to do dishes, this is what you do. <laughs> Check this out, kids. Look at this. Look at this. The oven, I don't think, has ever been used. I mean, have a peek at that. So, this is basically a storage unit. Yes, right. of course. 1987, have a beautiful bed upstairs. So, is this where you sleep? Yes. It's right there? Okay. Now I'm going to clean this thing up a little bit. I feel a little <laughs> more proud, right? But okay, we know It's okay. You know what? Life is messy. It's okay to be messy. Life is messy. You've got to just clean it up. And what I love is the windows at the top. You know, we've got we've got three windows, which you could probably see from outside when you did your footage. Right. It was awesome. Then we got the full proper bathroom where I've taken this that door That you off. use for storage as well, right? For now. Right. For now, we're renovating at the moment. Okay, so how long have you lived in this RV? Well, I've had the RV for three years and I live in it intermittently. I'm a so, city dweller. So you're not, okay, you're not full-timing it yet. Not full-timing it yet. I will be. Once she's good to go on the road a little further. Right. Well, like I told you, I lived in mine in my driveway for a year, so that's all good. I mean, you know, you gotta get it ready for the road. You gotta get it ready for the road. That's what it's all about, being prepared. Right. right. <laughs> so, do you enjoy this lifestyle? You wanna feel like inside again? <laughs> this is the ticket. <laughs> it is. I feel very youthful in mine. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. There's nothing better. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> What are you oh, doing? Come on in. <laughs> what do you think? So, uh, what are your plans for it? Let me just put a hammock in here. We're going to rig up a hammock. We just, you know, like Mexico, we've got two. Right. So, we will have that access to. What I'm so, gonna just do, like in case you have company or something? Exactly. Company or you just want to swing. Right. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Swing. Yeah. Well, you can use it outside also. Exactly. <laughs> it can be used just about anywhere. You right. can even put gear in it. Exactly. You know, I mean, it could be used for many things. Now I'm going to take a memory foam king size bed. I'm gonna cut it up mm -hmm. and I'm gonna restore to put cushions. This is really kind of beat up. Is this the, does this turn into a bed too? Yes, it does. This is a J bed. Okay, cool. This also, this dinette also turns into a bed here. Awesome. So, um, you know, what the heck. Queen, bed, bed, and then by the time we put in this hammock, I mean, you know. Right. You got a pretty big family camping in here. Then we get the roof deck on. Mm -hmm. I have lived in P-Town since the 80s. Wow, you must really like the P-Town. Yes. But you do want to travel though, right? That's why you got oh, the of rig. Course, of course, of course, yeah. yes, 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 yes. But this rig has only been with me three years. I've been coming to Provincetown since I was four. Four years old. Oh, okay. 53 now, I know I don't look it. But since four, and my mother wondered why I was a lesbian. <laughs> oh. Hello, you bring me to the lesbian magnet. Exactly. Mecca. It's the gay capital of the world. <laughs> Only been doing this three years in Provincetown, mm -hmm. and this is a part-time thing for me out here. I have a friend that I can go plug in with. Right. So when I arrive, I just you know head off. Exactly. Unplug and head out. So I see you have um, toys, like you have a paddle board yes. that you keep on the back. And I do. You, you do kayak or? Yes, yes. We have a, a, also on board a blow-up kayak. Oh, okay. I've been thinking about getting one of those also. Perfect. Well, you know, tomorrow or later on we can pump it up. We can make another video and we can, <laughs> we can pop you out there and I'll take the camera and we can post. What that would think? be awesome. All right, good. <laughs> what do you think, Mimi? Huh? You want to brave the water? You want to go, Moo Moo? <laughs> I do. Let's go for the paddleboard. Excellent. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
far as comfortable, the kayak wins because, oh, are you comfortable now? It's just a lot more comfortable. I guess if you were standing up on the paddleboard, it would be comfortable, but when I was kneeling down, my legs started to hurt. Um, it's The paddleboard is a lot easier to control than the kayak is. The kayak is a lot harder to control, definitely. Now I'm confused. I don't know which one I want. <laughs> Board. It's easy to control, it's easy to get on, and it's it's good in shallow waters. The kayak, not so good in shallow waters, not so easy to control, but it's really comfortable just to just relax. So Yeah, the way you're sitting, that's a good way to sit. I was sitting on my knees and it hurt after a while. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's really peaceful out here and the water's really calm. It's beautiful. I definitely want either a kayak or a paddle board. <laughs> I just have to decide which one I want. I saw a kayak for 99 bucks, um, but it was not like this one. This one is, it's like really, tough fabric and the other one was more like a blow-up doll it'd be like kayaking on a blow-up doll it well, seemed really flimsy I mean but you know you pay for what you get 99 bucks um, the ones like this one that I'm on were about three four hundred bucks so yeah but I like this one better it just seems tougher and you know you can actually drag it over rocks where I wouldn't try that with the other one because you'll probably pop it what you think, Lulu? You hot, Lulu, Lulu, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hot. You wanna go for a swim? <laughs> She's like, uh, no. <laughs> I'm good.
try your kayak and the paddleboard. That was awesome. You're welcome.